Hey guys, welcome to the episode of the World Tanker Plays. Today we're in Malinovka. I'm playing my Batchat 25 ton French medium tank. I'm platooned with Hulkster 21 and his E50M and G Bray and his M53 M55 artillery piece. This is an interesting game. I'm going to try to show you how to carry in a uh, team that's quite evenly matched. But it's starting into a stalemate, or the team has upper hand. So, I'm making an assessment of the team, deciding where I want to go. I decide that I'm going to try to make a quick spotting run right along this uh, this road right here. As you see the mini map, my uh, view range does extend into the enemy base a little bit. A 1390 is making a heroic run right here, up there along with the M46 Patton. I'm showing off one of the weaknesses of the bat jet right here. One, it's aim time, and the other is a lack of gun elevation to the rear. So I have to back up along the crevice and get any shots off here. I get his tracks off, so I take another quick blind shot there. Force a reload and resume my uh, assault on the northern flank here. We only have a T30 Jagdpanzer yeah, U100 defending the base. My platoon mate has advised me to go to H1 and try and spot the enemy coming up, but at this point I feel I'd be more useful moving up. And our enemy U100 has managed to drown himself already. Very helpful. Hulkstor in his uh, tier 10 German medium is taking a very aggressive push up the A line here. Trying to secure the windmill at the top of this hill. And thanks to the intel that our 1390 gave us, this would be a large. Uh, we know this would be a large push on this side. Ah, mortal enemy of bat chat. T-49 American Derp Cannon. Get one shot to him. Managed to evade a shot from the E-5 there, I believe. Zigzagging backwards. The low profile of this tank allows me to uh, get behind the the slightest features in the ground here. Holster's getting eaten alive by this American Tigger 10 heavy tank. I rushed that shot and it went to his tracks. And that shot went a little bit high, glazed off the edge of his cupola. So I force a reload and fall back. I could try to tank a couple of hits for uh, my friend there. But I don't think I have enough health to spare. And he's already dead anyways. We also just lost our, lost our M46 Patton. Alright, drum reloaded. What you see me doing here is I'm backing up the hill because they have a lot of tanks on this hill. I might need to fall back any point in time. Go 100 turn this turret. Okay, I make a bad play here. I'm lit. I saw I didn't run away. Obviously, if I'm lit. They can shoot me from up there. So I force a uh, repair my tracks. My commander's knocked out, so I heal him. In the match like this, all the V-range I can get, I need. So here I make a quick tactical withdrawal. There's no way I can hold the hill against all those heavy tanks. There's simply too many of them. On the map, you can see that our AMX 1390 is pushing up the riverbed. Getting a rather close to enemy base. Ice 8 pops up. It already secures a kill. I 
And we lost our 1390. But I know that Ice Age is within spotting range. And no one's um, holding this position here at C5. We lost the uh, tank we had here. I believe in M103. So I'm going to come back up and respot that uh, IS-8 using this M103's wreck as cover and try and knock him out of the game quick. There we go. I Neo a shot from the Centurion there. Again, this terrible aim time. Secured another kill on STI on top of the hill. Set a force to reload again. Playing auto loaders, especially ones with longer reloads like the Bat Chat or the Amex 5100, and maybe even the Amex 5120. It's all about knowing when to shove your reload in. Oh, <laughs> there's a bounce from Centurion. Magical French armor. Bounce thick as tin foil, but somehow it manages to bounce 120 mil millimeter shells, anyways. <laughs> We're down one tank, and they definitely have the uh, the big guns against us. We do have a Yak because of E100, but besides from that, we don't have anything too scary. T30, but I believe he's stuck. I say, I'm thinking about shooting for his drive wheel, but he pulls back in the cover, his sixth sense goes off. Go for his tracks right here. I succeed. T49. That's <laughs> gunsling him out. I look up. Ay! Magical armor. You see my frontal plate there? Just took a glance from IS-7's 130mm cannon. And it forced another reload. Our Artie is very vulnerable right now. They retreated as far as they can. Our T-5041 has also fallen back. Meaning if those tanks progress down that hill, they're going to light our team and they're going to be taken out. And the game is lost. So what I'm going to have to do is try to outspot them. Watch this. This <laughs> so many shells come in right here. One, two, three, and four, and five. And already missed me. <laughs> All of them sneaky bat chats. Again, it's kind of dancing around for a second artillery. I'm also giving time for WZ120, who is progressing up the other flank. He managed to kill the enemy's VK4502A and has spotted their waffle tractor. I'm trying to see if I get any spots on Centurion IS7 or E3. But my platoon mate in chat is saying that he's going to be targeting that waffle. But, all right, take out that waffle alpha equal 100. And I'll just try to keep these guys off while you do that. That's an important tank. If we can kill him, Artie's free to kill because he's, that's the only guy defending base right now. WZ120 is flying across the other side there. Kudos to him for making an aggressive play like that. He spots the Waffle Tractor Alpha 100. It's tense. I'm saying I'm I'm going to try to keep you guys alive. All right. I'm throwing my body in between you and the IS-7. The 5041's uh, found his balls. He's coming up as well.
party's aiming. I can hear the shells going off. WC 120s is desperately calling for help. Yes, and G Brace secures the kill. Oh, I'm going to add that G Brace and Hulks are both excellent artillery players. Very dependable. They make the hits when they're needed. So, all right. He still has two shells left in the container. They ping the map saying E3 there. Like, yep, I'll light him. Again, make my quick light, fall back in the cover, and let Artie do the job. There's one, there's two, and there's G Bray securing the kill. I'm looking again while I'm typing in chat. Oh. <laughs> and an absorber object 261 180 millimeter round and the uh, T92 misses me. I should be dead about five times by now, at least. Anyways, I'm trying to indicate to this uh, T5041 that me push on this IS-7. I mistyped. I put Artie in chat because I was panicking by the Artie shooting me while I was typing. Tell him, you take the hit, and I'll kill him. I have a lot better gun than you do. He agrees, and we start rolling forward. I'm not sure if the I-7 has fallen back, but then I see he kills the Lorraine, so he has to be on the hill somewhere to take that kill. Unless he's fallen back to F-7 or something like that. I think it's worth the risk to go ahead. 5041 is following. It's the I-7. He fires a gold round, pens me. I don't have much time. First shot, failed. Second one, take his tracks off. Falling back over this ridge, put the second one right through his tracks into his uh, hole and take him out. There's one already AP miss. And as you can see in chat, he is very pleased with his uh, demise. I was very ecstatic after winning this game. I had to slow play that really hard. I had hardly any health left. Besides that one mistake on the hill, the 57 Heavy, I allowed him to put two shells to my rear end. Um, I played this rather well, I believe. Kind of showed how to turn a game that's going to be a stalemate or a certain roll into a, a victory. Dash through the forest, trying to get that last arty kill. There it is. And... And all the arty shells raining around me. Yes, this French tank crew is going home. That was a well-deserved victory. And also, Mastery Badge, second uh, Mark of Excellence, and the Scout Badge. Not a bad result at all. Um, we managed to pick up 3,200 damage and 4,530 spotting. Yeah. A lot of kudos to uh, G Bray and his artillery, and also to Tefout and our Bat Chat artillery, Omega. Who all did an amazing job, helped keep us alive during the course of that game. At 1390, had a good spotting run at the beginning, and then WZ120 did a good job at the end. Um, and that was a lot of experience that game, thanks to Refer a Friend program, which I'm doing with uh, Hulkster. So, thanks for watching, and more videos are coming in the future.